This is Abstract Art, Lesson 2, The Language of Line and Colour. I don't know if you've thought about it before when you're looking at drawings or when you're drawing yourself, but there is an expression that is inherent in line. What I wanted to do in this lesson was to really consider, if you look at these pictures, what are these artists thinking about when they've drawn these? Are these happy lines, angry lines, sad lines? There's no particular rules to any of this. It's how you feel when you look at them. The question I've asked is, do lines have meaning? And can you think of an emotion for each of these drawings on this slide? Um, are these excited lines? Are they happy lines? Are they angry lines? Are they powerful lines? Is this sadness? Is this depression? It certainly doesn't look to me that either of these two uh, drawings are calm or peaceful lines. They look more excited, but that's up to you. How do you feel when you look at them? How do you think that artist was feeling? There is a general language that people accept when it comes to simple line. So you can see here there's maybe tired lines, although I think those don't look very tired to me. They look kind of happy and maybe stress or those look more wandering kind of lines or confused. Uh, certainly this one might look more frustrated, but maybe that's angry. Um, these ones over here, they may be energetic or they may be angry lines. Is this happy? It could be an explosion. It could be powerful. Um, this could be sleepy or it could be really energetic, hungry or calm. Uh, quite often calm lines are horizontal because we think of landscapes and the sea. So there aren't any real rules to this. Pure lines can represent emotion. Some are easy to read and others are more difficult. They could mean different things to different people. What I wanted you to do as a task is to divide uh, two A4 sheets into four sections and draw abstract lines in each section that represent an emotion using no images or symbols, just pure line. Put the pencil on the paper and see how you feel. There's no way of doing this wrong because it's a very personal thing about how you feel when you put pencil to paper. Don't forget to write the name of each emotion in each section. Try and feel the emotion and draw quickly without thinking too much. There are no mistakes um, in abstract line and shape. Starting with angry, what does angry look like? If you feel angry, what line might that be? What line would represent angry? Is it really all over the page? Is it sharp edges? Is it just a tight little ball of anger? What type of angry do you feel? And what do you feel when you feel calm? What do your calm lines look like? Or your joyful lines? Do they come up or do they spin round? And the last one, you could just choose your own emotion. The next section, we're going to look at colour because not only does line have emotion, but colour has emotion too. So we look at a colour and attach an emotion. If you look online on this, you can find lots of suggestions of what people think. It just slightly depends on different cultures because different cultures and different times throughout history, people have felt that different colours mean different things. Colour has been used to represent ideas and feelings for a long time. There is a tradition of colours symbolising different emotions and concepts. This could be different in different cultures and with individual opinions. Consider what each colour means to you. So you may not agree with what you see here. See what you think. On this slide, I've put some drawings with colour in it or just pure drawing. I wanted to see if you could tell what emotion these artists were feeling when they put these marks down on a page. For the second part of this task, I would like you to create another two A4 sheets, fold them in half and then fold them in half again and write in the same words that you wrote in before and the last one again choose your own but this time put colour in each section. You can use shapes and 
you can use line as well but just try and put certain colors you could have one color maybe there's two colors that represent maybe three what colours and shapes could you put in these squares that would represent these emotions? Again, don't forget to write the name of each emotion in each section and try and feel the emotion and colour without thinking too much about it. So try and do it as a feeling more than thinking. Maybe have all the colours out in front of you and then feel the emotion and try and see what if I'm feeling angry, what colour would I choose? Or if I'm feeling silly, what colour would I choose? If you've got all the colours in front of you, it might help you to choose. Again, there are no mistakes as this is abstract and this is expression. And when you're being expressive in art, there are no mistakes. So have fun. <laughs>